A while ago I made a game entirely using ChatGPT to play as a QB character running away from enemies, throwing blue rocks and trying to survive an endless fight. What? Basically what I'm trying to say is that there is no fun in this game and it sucks. It's all ChatGPT's fault. Sorry I forgot he likes to be called AI. It's AI's fault. How dare you? This is the greatest game ever created. Do you think you can do better? Am I really going to recreate this monstrosity of a game just because an angry AI decided to challenge me? Yes. You know this should be pretty easy. I started by creating a brand new project in Godot, the game engine that doesn't block people on social media because they don't agree with their political views. Plus, it's free and it uses a simple programming language called GDScript. You know, creating a game from scratch is hard and it becomes even harder when you don't know how to code. Luckily Godot has detailed documentation, plus there are millions of tutorials online which are used to write the code that works well. But writing the code wasn't the only obstacle. You see, when you play a game, you don't see the code. You see the graphics, effects, sounds. Did I just say you see sounds? Anyways, the game AI made is just yellow, green, and white. What I'm trying to say is that this game is boring and ugly. AI is clearly not an artist. It's not my fault. You are the one who made all the art for the game. Shh. Nobody needs to know that. So I started by creating the characters in pixel art. I created the main character Squirtle to look like Rambo. One man standing against enemies. But just changing the main character wasn't enough. You see the enemies that AI made were not only ugly but hard to work with as well. Because they were pointy. It needs to be pointy. Pointy is scary. And computers cannot work with pointy things easily for some reasons. That's why everything in video games are kinda round and cubic and since the main character is cubic, why not making the enemies cubic as well? So I started by creating three different types of enemies, a small one, a big and a slow one and another a small but fast one. And instead of making them look boring like this, I created some frames for each character, move them up in every other frame and change the look of their eyes like they are jumping towards you. Then I created a new frame, closed their eyes and made a death animation. The characters look but the environment it's boring you see you know in video games apart from the characters there are a lot of other things that make a game look good like environment effects and sounds and i needed to take care of all of them by myself so i started by creating a killer environment but it was almost impossible to make one i had no idea how to create a 2d environment because i'm a 3d environment cinematic artist yeah i've made this May or may not I started surfing on the internet looking for a good 2D environment till I found one that has everything our game needs and I borrowed it. Look at this, it looks pretty doesn't it? Maybe it's time for AI to lose. I don't lose! I win! You know just having a good looking characters and pretty environment doesn't make a game great if all you need to do is running. Why are you running? To fix this, I started by creating a fist, then added it to the character so he can throw rocks at enemies. And to make AI even angrier, I created a sword and a rocket launcher. To make the game fun and less boring like the endless run AI made, I may or may not borrow some features from Portate and Survival.io. In both games, there is a wave system, and based on the wave you are playing in, you fight new enemies. And each game has its own unique way of calculating waves. Portato has a countdown and survival.io has a count up but copying their features is not cool after all we want to prove AI we can make a better game so I came up with an idea I created a gem that you can collect when you kill an enemy and every time you pick one this bar fills a bit and when it's full you enter a new wave it should be pretty easy right? I needed to spawn a gem at the location of the enemy when it dies. But when it dies, it disappears and since there is no enemy, there will be no gem to collect. To fix this issue, I started by creating a new variable and use that variable to store the last location of the enemy. Then use that location to spawn a gem. Now every time an enemy dies, a gem appears on the screen. Also, I created a system that checks if the wave bar is full or not. And when it's full, a menu pops up. You can upgrade your weapons or unlock new ones. And to make it juicy, I made some weapons to be available after you enter a certain wave, like this sword that you can unlock after you enter wave 3. 
and to make everything even juicier I created another system and with this new system you need to collect more gems in each wave to fill the box. Let's see who can reach wave 7. Our game looks dope but it still misses some key features. You see when the enemy dies they just disappear without any effect. Luckily Gedot has a particle system built in and using that particle system I created a death effect for each enemy when they die. Looks cool right? But a game without sound effects is not a game is it? I created sound effects for collecting gems, killing enemies, unique sound effects for each weapon and upgrade menu. After days of grinding and hard work finally our game looked professional but there was a huge issue. You see the character can go through the walls and that's not doing any good because it's not a ghost game it's a shooter game for pro players who want to challenge their skills. To fix this I came up with an idea limiting the character and camera movements but since I'm not a pro programmer I did it in a very lazy way. I started putting collisions on the walls limiting both character and camera from going through. I also created a pause menu, a game over menu for when you lose and a main menu so you don't jump right into chaos. Finally, after days of hard work, our game is looking way better and is much more fun than what AI made. I may or may not add some other weapons, levels, enemies and powers to this game. What do you think? Tell me what to add to our game in the comment section. I pretty much stayed faithful to the game AI made and I just improved it. You think you made a better game just because you added some new weapons, waves, different types of enemies and effects? Yes I do. I have made the game better than ChatGBT and made humanity proud. After all, it called me dumb and if you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure you check this video where AI called us dumb.